Let's make a plant-based lemon icebox pie. Welcome back to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill and before we jump into this amazing recipe, I wanna share with you our cookbook is finally here, yay! So anybody that has pre-ordered, they're gonna get shipped to you really soon. It's also available for order and it's shipping now. Uh, we'll give you a link in the details below on how to order it but we are so proud. It's been a long time coming. We are just in love with it. It's so amazing. Like there's a full size photo for every recipe, the QR code there that you can scan so that you can do the tutorial video where I show you how to make it so you can cook along with it. But we are just so happy it's finally here. So go check it out. All right, let's jump into this recipe. So a lemon icebox pie. We're gonna do the crust first. You're gonna need some kind of food processor. So I've got a cup of organic rolled oats, a cup of shredded coconut, and this is an unsweetened coconut, one cup of pitted dates, and a half teaspoon of vanilla. And we're just gonna start pulsing this until it's really, really nice and uniform crumbly. And then I have four tablespoons of water here that we're gonna slowly drizzle in just so it can start sticking that mixture together. Okay, there is our mixture. And to test it, all you need to do is pick up a little bit and press it together with your fingertips. And if it squeezes together and holds together, then you're done. So I just have a nine inch uh, pie plate here. And you don't need to oil it or grease it or anything because there's oil that comes out of the, the coconut here and it really doesn't stick that bad. All right, so we're just gonna press this into our pie, pa pie pan. And you're just gonna wanna, you know, kind of uniformly uh, do the bottom so it's the same thickness all the way around and then press some of it up around to the sides so that it has a little bit of a crust around the sides too. And just like a regular pie crust, you know, for the sides, you just wanna press it up probably about an inch and a half high. And then you can kind of just press down with your other finger so it can make a little bit of a nice, a nicer edge so it's not quite so jagged. And that just takes a little bit of patience. Okay, once you get it all pressed down into your pie plate, we're gonna stick it in the oven. I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees and we're gonna put it in for 15 minutes. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook series, are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. There's no denying the plant-based diet is a nutrient powerhouse, but did you know there are a handful of hard-to-get nutrients even well-crafted diets are often lacking? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why my daily health routine includes Complement Essential. Complement Essential contains the eight critical nutrients lacking from most plant-based diets in dosages optimized specifically for us. Plus, Complement is completely transparent about ingredient sourcing and third-party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use code PLANTBASEDEASY at checkout to save 15% off of your order. Okay, our crust is out of the oven and it smells so amazing. That toasted coconut is just amazing. All right, so we're just gonna set it aside. It's still a little bit hot. I let it cool for about five minutes or so, just so the surface can be a little bit cooler when you pour this filling in. All right, onto this delicious filling. So we're gonna start with our silken tofu. And we're gonna use the whole container. This is 14 ounces, which is roughly about two cups. 
I'm just gonna get it all in there. And alternatively, if you don't wanna use uh, tofu, you can also use white sweet potatoes. That works really well. And then I have two small zucchinis from my garden. This is another one of those recipes to get rid of some of that zucchini that's growing like crazy right now. So two small zucchini, one cup of pitted dates. Uh, this is two tablespoons or about three tablespoons really of cashews or a quarter of a cup. That's all about the same. One teaspoon of vanilla and half a cup of lemon juice. And then just for color, because we want it to be a little bit yellow, but not like bright yellow, we're just gonna use a little bit of turmeric, probably about a fourth of a teaspoon. You can always add a little bit more as you go if you wanted a deeper color. Now we're just gonna blend this up until it's really smooth. And that might take a little while. You might have to scrape down the sides a few times just to get it super, super silky. Okay, let's check this mixture out. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Mmm, smells so lemony. All right, and it really depends on your, your pie plate. Not all pie plates are created equal. Some of them are a little bit slanted out at the side so it makes the volume a little bit more so you might have some of this left uh, we might not be able to pour all of this in here but it's so good just by itself just as a pudding so you can just put it in a container uh, with a top and put it in your refrigerator and it will set up just like pudding so we're going to pour this in here until right up to the top of the edges of that pie crust Maybe just a little bit more. Yep, and I have just a little bit left, so I can just put it in a container and put it in the fridge. And I'm just gonna shake this a little bit, just to kind of settle it a little bit. And you don't even need to smooth the top or anything like that because it's, it's really not thick enough to do that. Okay, so now you're just gonna stick this in the fridge and it's probably best if you just leave it in there overnight but it takes at least four hours to set up. So that's where it's headed. All right, time for a taste. So I, I had already made a pie yesterday, so I just cut a slice out of it. If you wanna come and take a look, cause I can just show you the piece, how beautiful it is and how nice and firm it is. All right, but it's all about the taste, right? Oh my gosh, mmm, 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 that is so good. I can't wait for you to try it. Be sure to let me know if you do, and come on back next week for another great recipe.